What's up guys? Welcome to part two of the Introduction to Ichimoku series. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the secret numbers Gochi Hosada discovered in his lifetime of research and how to use them to apply time theory to the Ichimoku system. Let's hop in. To understand how to apply time theory in the Ichimoku system, we must first understand what the Kihan Suchi numbers are. Kihan Suchi numbers are a set of time period numbers that Gochi Hosada spent many years of research and evaluation to discover. These numbers are the most suitable set of numbers for the equilibrium time theory that he proposed. The numbers include 9, 17, 26, 42, 51, 65, 76, 129, 172, and 200, so on. Now don't let all these numbers scare you or get your panties in a bunch. I only want you to focus on the numbers that are shown in bold font, 9 and 26. Please note these are the most important to remember for the Kihan Suchi numbers. Let's go into 9. Um, so Ichimoku translated means one look. Kinko means equilibrium and Hyo means diagram. It also translates to mean one move ahead and this is where time theory starts to come into play. With the numbers 9 and 26, I'm going to show you how to see one move ahead with the Ichimoku system. Okay guys, let's start with the number 9. Now, as you remember from part 1 of this series, the blue line is called the Tenkensen, which is a 9 period moving average. There's that number 9 again, so please write that down, that's very important. Personally, I like to think of the blue line as a 9 time period magnet. Whenever price crosses and closes on the opposite side of the line, we know that there is a strong magnetic force that should pull the price back to the line after nine candlesticks have passed. We know this because the price always returns to an equilibrium state. When price crosses and closes above or below the Tenkensen, we call this Kinko Ten, which simply put means that there is a 50-50 power balance between the buyers and sellers when price touches this blue line. From this point of balance is where we begin to measure our nine period time cycles. By projecting these time cycles out into the future, we can have one look ahead at possible reversal areas for the price action to follow. These days of reversal are called Henka B or days of change. Now please note that the price action will not reverse exactly every nine time periods. And in time theory, Gochi taught us that we can accept up to one or two periods, plus or minus, of deviation from the nine period time cycles. Now, just to reiterate, the blue line or the Tenkensen always acts like a magnet. And after nine candlesticks, we can expect the price action to start to be pulled back to this magnetic line. And I'm going to show you that here. So please follow the cursor along and let's count the candles. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look, we can see that after these nine candles have um, passed by, price begins to be sucked back into the blue line here, like a magnetic force. And a lot of times you can see um, if it's in a bull trend, this Tenkensen or the blue line will act as a support line for the price to continue to bounce up and to continue forming end waves up. And so you can see that here, boom, it goes up, it comes back, is supported by the Tenkensen again, and then continues up. And so we can, we can always expect this line to act like a magnet. And when price uh, closes below, this is a possible signal um, for a reversal as well. And as you can see that up here, um, when this candlestick closed well below and went back to the Kijinsen, which is the green line. And now if I, was, if I was going to project and look for one look ahead in the market, um, you know, we can see here in all the orange, we have uh, confluence with these time cycles. And here we have a nice reversal. And we have the Kijun Sen is flat here, acting as an overhead resistance. And so if I were to guess the ne next Henka B or day of change, uh, I would be looking around this area here as a possible uh, reversal point for the market. And so that's the great thing about time theory is that it's very simple to draw and it's very simple to project out into the future. And it really, the market does really um, 
it can really start grooving with these time cycles um, a lot of times. So that can be very useful. And just to reiterate one more time, we know here is the Tenkan, um, the, sorry, excuse me, the Kinko 10, which means that at this point, um, there's a 50-50 power balance between buyers and sellers. And so that's always where we are gonna start our time theory measurement. So just remember, right when price crosses above or below is where we're gonna start measuring our first time cycle. And then we just project nine time periods out into the future. So it's pretty simple, but it's very effective. And this was on the weekly chart. And now we're going to move in um, and explore how we use the number 26. So let's let's go to the next chart. OK, guys, now we're going to look at the euro Japanese yen on the weekly chart. And here you can see that I've drawn in the time cycles and these time cycles are measured with 26 time periods this time. And so uh, as you remember from before, um, when the price cross above the Tenkinsen, that's where we drew the nine period time cycles. Uh, however, for the 26 time period cycles, we're going to draw them once the price crosses um, above or below the green line. And so you can see that here we have the price crossing above and closing above the green line or the Kijin Sen. Um, and now, you, as you remember from part one of this series, the green line is called the Kijin Sen, which is a 26 period moving average. And similar to the blue line, I also like to think of this green line as a 26 time period magnet. Whenever price uh, crosses and closes on the opposite side of the line, we know that there is a strong magnetic force that should pull the price back to the line after 26 candlesticks have passed by. Uh, we know this, uh, as we said before, because price always returns to an equilibrium state. And so I'm going to show you that here. Um, as you can see, that after 26 periods, um, we have a touch on this Kijin Sen here. And then price continues to keep going up. And then we have 26 periods. And look, check out that right at the uh, one or two candles off of the 26 uh, time cycle. Uh, we have a reversal and then we have price come back down and hit the uh, magnetic green line like we said before um, and then look here's more confluence here with the time cycle um, and then we have more confluence up here and then we have another uh, reversal point here and so you know like like we said before um, we use these time cycles to get one look ahead at the market and if I were to get one look ahead, um, you can see the pink line that I've drawn in here. Um, you know, we have a uh, death cross here and we have um, the Chico span, which is the yellow line tracing the candles. And so if I were to put my best my best bet forward, um, I would expect another uh, reversal down and then a touch on this time cycle line here. So, you know, you can see yourself um, see all the confluence that we find in these charts um, and you can see how useful this this time theory can be to uh, you know deciding when you want to uh, sell a position if you're long you might want to sell it at the top here when you've known that this uh, trend has you know that price hasn't touched the Kijin Sen in 26 uh, time periods you know that price is most likely going to begin to return back down. And I'm going to show you that here also. Um, so as you can see, when the Kijin Sen becomes flat like this, this is when the magnetic becomes extra strong because that that shows us that um, when, when Kijin Sen is pointing up, that means the market is trending. So here at this area, you can see Kijin Sen and Tenkin Sen are both pointing upwards. So that means the market's trending upwards. But when these flatten out, there's a very good probability that the price is gonna come back down. And we can see that here also, um, these were pointing up and then they became flat and we see price come all the way back down here and get supported again by the Kijin Sen. So that's just something to keep in mind too. And you know, as, uh, as you get more familiar with the system and as you watch this series further, you're going to um, 
you're going to pick up on more of these nuances of the Ichimoku system. Um, but for right now, what I want you to remember is that the Kijun Sen, the green line, um, is what we use to measure the 26 period uh, time cycles. Um, and it's always measured one price here. Let's see. Oh, whoops. Let's see if I can zoom in on that so you guys can see a little bit better. But it's one price closes above this green line, the Kijun Sen. That's when we start, this is our point of measurement for the 26 time period cycles. So just keep that in mind. Um, and, you know, we're gonna continue to go into more detail about these things, but uh, I think time, time theory is actually quite simple. And I think if you start applying it to your own charts, you're gonna also find a lot of uh, confluence like we found uh, with all these orange circles here. So. Yeah, so that's the, how you measure the time cycles for the 26 periods. Well guys, this concludes part two of the intro to Ichimoku series. Now that you've gained a stronger foundation in the Kihan Suchi numbers and time theory, I recommend you to apply these techniques to your own charts. You will see how useful time theory can be in predicting reversals, tops, bottoms, and pivot points in the market. From my own personal experience, I find time theory to be most effective on the daily and weekly timeframe charts. Uh, however, the Kihan Suchi numbers are fractal in nature and also founded on human psychological patterns based on how long traders can withstand holding losing positions. So these methods can technically be applied to any time frame chart. As always, if you guys like this uh, content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and most importantly, I want you to remember, time is everything and life moves fast. If you don't stop to look around every once in a while, you could miss it. Until next time, guys, peace.